Hello again. Uh, I have uh, put together a question and answer type thing, just a few different questions that I have been uh, asked over the years. I've been stretching my ears and uh, my librette now. And uh, there's, there's no order to my list that I have here, uh, so I'll just go down the list and try to uh, answer them as best as I can. And again, if you have any further questions beyond that, you're most definitely welcome to uh, hit me up. Sorry, the music's getting kind of loud. All right, first questions. Uh, yeah, the first question: uh, What are your plugs or tunnels made out of? Well, my tunnels right now are made out of Delrin. Uh, they're inch and three quarter, and they have uh, a flare on the outside, uh, but the backing. I don't know if you guys can see that. The backing is the actual uh, one and three quarter. The fronts are about two inches. Second question: What are my goal sizes? Uh, the goal size for my ears, or my lobes, currently uh, is two inch, two inches, and I will probably stretch further than that later on in life. Not sure, but my current goal size, which I will hope to obtain maybe during the summer, is two inches. I'll probably be resting there for a while, uh, and my labret would be uh, one inch for the time being, and I'll probably let that rest for a while. I'm not sure if I want to go larger than that. I may. I may not, uh, but currently the, the gold size is one inch. And my septum, which is pierced, I just don't do any updates on it or uh, haven't stretched it in quite some time. I think it's been about a year now. Uh, but I would like to get maybe to a zero. I'm at six gauge right now. Uh, next gauge, uh, yeah, the next size would be four gauge. So I might just stay with four gauge. I might go up, but anywhere from two, two to four. Uh, 2 gauge, 0 gauge, maybe double zero. I don't want to go that large uh, in the septum, but large enough to put a nice decent spike in there. Does it hurt? Um, I get this question a lot. The piercing initially, yeah it hurts. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's like a pinch. Basically it's a needle passing through your body, uh, through your skin, and you know, your skin has pain receptors, so obviously it's going to hurt. As far as it hurting as you're getting socked in the face or uh, getting ran over by a vehicle doesn't hurt that bad, but it, it hurts a little bit. Um, my typical thing is when people ask me on the street, does it hurt? I say kind of. Uh, I've had some, uh, back in the day when I didn't have access to the internet uh, and resources like I do now, such as BME, uh, I had some bad stretching experience, and yes, it hurt a lot. Uh, but nowadays it doesn't hurt so much because I take it slow and taping definitely helps out with the uh, process not hurting as much. Um, as far as if I bump my lip right now, yeah it hurts a little bit because it's not only the plug on the outside, but it's the plug on the inside that if you hit it a certain way it's going to rub against, you know, it rubs against my teeth, my gums, and yeah that hurts a little bit. Um, plus like on the outside I have, you know, facial hair and it takes a while for the actual skin on the outside to get used to the, the labret, so it's kind of irritated uh, typically because the hair has to just get used to the larger sizes and stuff like that. My lobe's not as bad. Uh, the only thing that really hurts is the back of my neck when I sleep on my plug, uh, but I typically take them out uh, in the evening times that bother me too bad. Or if I just can't get comfortable. My nose? No, I mean, it doesn't really hurt. When I stretch it, it definitely hurts a lot. Uh, every time I try to stretch my uh, sorry my septum uh, over the past few months, because I've tried, uh, it just it does not want to you know, budge, so I don't want to force it in there yet. Uh, but yeah, that hurts quite a bit, and definitely when I get it bumped, it hurts a lot. Uh, but overall, the process, if you take it slow and easy, especially use tape to get to your, uh, your goal sizes, uh, it doesn't hurt as bad. Basically, it's it's kind of a snug feeling more than anything. Uh, for my labret, I've been asked if I talk differently. Um, the the biggest thing that I have uh, encountered with talking is um, the backing. I usually wear a circular back. Uh, the, the backs are circular, so when it's in my lip, um, kind of, you know, it's in my lip, uh, and when I talk, the air obviously is escaping uh, my mouth, and it will hit the back, 
of the piece and make like a whistle sound as if uh, you know you're whistling through your teeth kind of makes that kind of sound uh, but this piece that I have in I actually the last couple days I've been uh, shaping it to take off the rounded top and bottom to make it more of a tea bag and that whistling has kind of subsided a lot uh, but it's still there but I don't really care either way it's kind of interesting and fun to hear every once in a while um, something different basically um, but as far as the speech is concerned I mumble a lot so the piece is not it's not heavy like there's a weight in my lip like a 10 pound weight or anything um, but it, it's slightly heavy so it kind of pulls down on my lip and when I get to mumbling uh, my lip kind of drags so I'll kind of do like the whole blah, 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 <laughs> type of thing so uh, yeah, uh, for me sometimes it gets in the way, but not really. It's just if I'm lazy or not, I'll make sure that I enunciate my words better. Other than that, even if I am on the way, it's pretty easy to hear me. So, but every, yeah, every once in a while there's just little differences in words that I've noticed. Nothing big. Uh, do I take my libretto out when I sleep? Um, no, I haven't done that. Um, one time I had a stretch that wasn't going as well. I can't remember what size it was, but I had uh, I was taking the current size out and uh, putting the smaller size in during the evening time, just so because I, I believe it was kind of a, almost like a blowout going on on the outside. So I was taking it out during the, uh, during the sleep and uh, putting a smaller size so the skin can just uh, relax and heal a little bit better. That seemed to work pretty good. But as far as just leaving it out uh, throughout the night, no, I, I don't do that. I just leave it in. It doesn't bother me that much. And, uh, do I drool or dribble when I eat or drink? 